does Benzina even do? I don't know. Like, like to be other than with being, Eminem. Other than finding out two year, two three years ago that you was Corey's father. What? Who? Who? What? what <laughs> Welcome back to Thoughts in the Glass podcast. I'm Latoya. I am Kendra. And this is a weekly podcast where we talk about life, love, and everything funny. So sit back, relax. Thank you for joining us. Um, we have really been trying to get our space set up. Yeah, you get know, together. We, we added curtains. We've added lighting. Um, and I hope that you all are appreciating the effort that we're putting in to, yes. to give you the best that we can offer just off of us doing it. So, mm-hmm. Sit back, relax. Thank you for joining us. Um, grab you a cocktail. You know we do a cocktail every time. Exactly. So we shouldn't be the only ones having a little sippity sip. Like, come on and, and join us. And let us know what you're drinking on. If you have recipes, if you have uh, cocktails that you oh, like yeah. to drink, send us some send cocktail us some ideas. Co- send us some ideas. So what is our drink for tonight? So the drink for tonight is a Cosmo. Okay. It is a traditional cosmopolitan. Mm-hmm. Now, if you get a Cosmo that is red, too much cranberry. It is, it is a it is a science. Mm-hmm. Um, at bartender school, she was like, "It needs to be pink. Mm-hmm. It needs to be pink." So I'm going to show you my Cosmo. So how we make this? You just put it in a shaker with ice, and it is two ounces of vodka. Whichever vodka you like. Now, if you use a premium vodka, you should use a premium triple set. So there are definitely there are quite a few different triple sets, um, but basically triple set is a is like an orange flavor. Mm-hmm. Now you have some which is the the one that we're using. I can never say it, but it's like country. Con- it is a burnt orange. Okay, taste right. So. So, um, half an ounce of Contru, and they say an ounce of cranberry juice, but I just put in a little bit like of a splash. Okay. So, usually, and then it comes... Also, like, Grand Moyet. That's yeah. a... I'm lying, y'all. The Grand Moyet is the burnt orange. Okay. The, the Contru is just the regular. It's just the upscale triple sec. So, this is mine. It's filling... Mm-hmm. Yeah. The show. You're doing good. All right. And so now, that is how we you make your cosmo. And it usually goes into a stemmed glass, and you would cheer your glassware. Now, if you're ever in a situation where you don't have an opportunity to chill your glassware, get some ice. Put some water in it and let it sit. That will give you a full chew. Okay. And so instead of putting it in the freezer, that's if you're in that kind of situation. So that's one of the things that we have to do with bartending school because, um, of course, it's not in a refrigerator. So put ice, fill it with water, let it sit for about a minute. You get that chill on your glass. Mm. And that's it's more of the presentation than anything. So cheers, cheers. So of course you know That's that good. we will continue with our um, with Black History Month. Okay, so this week our Black History fact is um, Hattie McDaniel, who became the first person, not first Black woman, like mm-hmm. we said before, but the first person to win an Oscar for her supporting role in Gone with the Wind in 1940. Um, Sidney Poitier was the first Black man to win. But that was 24 years later for his leading role in Lilies of the Field. You know, I, I'm i going to say this, and it's not because I'm a woman, but we be breaking barriers. We do. We do. We, we, we do all of the things. We do. And, you know, sometimes we get overshadowed by the men in, the, in, our, in any industry. That's so true. But I feel that we've always been it. It's interesting that you say that because when I when we were researching this, mm-hmm. I actually thought it was Sidney Poitier who had who was the first black person to win an Oscar, right. but he wasn't. Yeah. He was the first man to do right. it, and it, I feel like it did kind of overshadow because I feel like I mean, and and maybe y'all audience, maybe you all knew this, and maybe it's news to me, right. but I feel like I didn't know Hattie McDaniel. I I, I feel like. 
I just didn't know. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I just didn't know. Right. It's not one of the most popular, common, popular yeah. facts. Um, and I think for that reason, because yeah. then a black man won afterwards, and that's kind of all we tend to focus on. Right. It, it just it overshadows the accomplishments. And that's what I was saying, I think, in the in our first episode when we talked about um, what we did when we were in school and things like that. A lot of times, you'll hear a sprinkling of, um, we get a sprinkling of this person did this, this person did that. But like in science, we don't hear about the black women in science. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We don't hear about the black women that are instrumental in medicine and mm -hmm, things like that mm -hmm. and it's like oh if it's sports they'll throw it in there but then they talk about all the athletes so mm -hmm. it's like even in the most of maybe the women that can play basketball it's still like but the men though oh right. who watches the WNBA yeah. it's like these are women that can perform at a amazing level yeah in which there are many a men that can't check them Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and so it's like, why are we, why are we downplayed? Because we have ovaries. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. that's that's kind of like it just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, I I do I mean, appreciate that we're taking this. Yeah, well, true. <laughs> that's true. I'm glad we're taking this opportunity to start finding out these these yeah. snippets. It's important, um, and and sharing it with you, and then hopefully, just not like I said, and like the conversation I've had with many people, we can't just do this during this time. We should have a fact. All the time. We shouldn't just talk about it when uh, we're spoon fed. This is the opportune time for you to be able to, you know, put these people on the pedestal. Which they should. They should always and continue to be on the pedestal. I, I mean, I'm torn because on the one hand, I'm like, you're right, we should. But on the other hand, I'm like, that's a lot of research. Like that's a that's a high expectation for us to try to have a Black History fact every every week. Well, I'm not saying for us. Okay. I'm just saying in general, like we talk about all of these accomplishments of people i'm not even just talking about in the regular like it would be so um normalized if we talked if they talked about it in school yeah like to have a conversation is like oh you know um such as i did the cotton gin such as you know it's easy to kind of or you know columbus did this or you know it's it's these we could talk about what's the what's the one um, Elon Musk and all these people that they we talk about all the time there, but there are other actors, there are other people in our culture that are doing amazing things. Yeah, especially in especially right now in tech, mm -hmm. the black folks is showing up in tech. Yeah, and so I just don't. I think that we should just talk about it more. It should just be. Again, not just talked about doing Black History Month. Oh, let's talk about now this black person in tech that's doing all these amazing things. Well, he was doing it in January, too. Right. And he was doing it in December. Right. So why are we only finding out now. what is now um, prevalent? Being highlighted. Yeah. Right. Or being highlighted, thank you, because it's Black History Month. Yeah. And he did that back in August. Right. That should have been in the news back in August. Right. You know, right. so that's what I mean. Yeah. Stop waiting for, oh, well, let's dive into doing more research on these people just because it's February, when oh back in August this person created this thing and you know they they um, put it on the line and it's working great. Oh, we knew that back in August. We knew that back in September. So that's all, that's. I mean, I, I think I think that's something that. we could probably challenge ourselves to do then, as as things come up or yeah. or if it's relevant, yeah. it doesn't have to be. Nah, it doesn't have to be in Black History Month. Right. If it's relevant next yeah. month, it's relevant it's next relevant. month. Exactly. Right. And we can exactly. discuss it. And we can discuss okay. it. So. I like it. And I think everybody can discuss it. Right. right. Throw it out there. Put it in the news. Yeah. Put it on your social media. Yeah. Hey, did y'all hear about such and such? But anyway, that's, that'd just be my... I, I feel like I have a vent every time we record. I'm sorry. I just need that. But anyway, so we wanted to introduce something new. Yeah. Um, something fun. Something fun. There's a lot of new artists outside of like the um, beefs mm -hmm. because child, did you know Eminem and Benzina was beefing? I had no girl. No. I, I mean, who, who? What does Benzina even do? I don't know. Like to be Eminem beefing with be, Eminem. I've been there finding out two year, two three years ago that she was Corey's father. What, sir? And and if he like if he does do something that we know. just don't know, Let then we know. just don't know. But like. I, I, I will definitely be the one to say, I don't be knowing who people are. I don't know. Or what I, they do. Outside of, and I'm, it's outside of being on Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, I think it was Atlanta. I think it's, it was with, uh, when it was, um, um, 
Uh, what's that girl name? Um, God, I can't help you because I don't be watching Love and Hip Hop. Uh, I used to watch the Love and the Hip Hop. Girl, I'm showing my age because I can't remember. Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn. It's Stevie yeah. J. When they was beefing and he was messing with the, the he has a child with her now. Mm -hmm. I mean, Benzino has a child with, um, I can't think of that lady name either. <laughs> Clearly. But I was watching the shows with the, the Rashidas and all of the things. Outside of him being in mess. And then, and then it messed with your own daughter. So anyway, but um, there has been a lot of new music yeah. popping up here yeah. and there. And you know what's trying to make a comeback? Trying to pop themselves back on up in this thing. What? R&B, baby. R&B has been R&B lately. It has been. Mm, it has been. It has been. It has been. It has been. Mm, but you know what's crazy? The sounds of R&B are the sounds of the 90s. That's true. That's it's like true. the 90s going to come. Let me tell you what they going to do. Yeah. They're going to pick a snap. Back. What's came back? Well, you know what it is? Is that the music from the 90s, while it was happening, it was timeless music. It was. Because amazing. I remember the songs that I liked, my mom also liked, and my mm -hmm. grandma also liked. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's not like music now where like, at least in my opinion, music now, the, the young kids now like it. And we made jump in on a couple of things. Right. But that's their music. I can't see right. my, my mother or my grandmother liking that. Right. Whereas music from the 90s, at least the R&B. Now, the rap, maybe not so much. Yeah. But the R&B, definitely, it transcended Absolutely. generations. And so, Absolutely. I think that's why it's making a comeback because people are realizing that was timeless music. Yeah. So, Usher has a new song that I think that we should kind of see. Sample. Song. He... Did his thing, is doing his thing. Okay, so let me also say this. Because mm -hmm. I want to, we talked about wanting to say something about the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. But I'm going out of town, y'all. Mm -hmm. So we've been recording, recording, recording for y'all. Yeah. We got, we got we, a batch record. We've been in here. And we've been changing. <laughs> the face ain't changed. <laughs> then I changed my shirts and pulled the hair off. But anyway, um... But I, I know he going to be yeah it right at the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's all I'm going to And so this will be a little preparation. But this a little, little prep. I mean, maybe not for y'all because y'all be seeing this after. But Right. This is a little prep for us. Yeah. Get us ready. Mm -hmm. So let's, I don't, so we want to try to, um, do we want to break it up? Do we want to just let it play through? I mean, if we have thoughts, we can always pause it and give our thoughts. Because okay. you, the thought will. Listen, unless I'm writing it down, child, the thought be like, you said, you ain't say me, miss. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> My thoughts be, <laughs> I'm lying away like paper. All right, so um, sit back and enjoy Usher. And his new song is called Ruin. And it's with, it's Usher and Fells. Fells? Fells. Fells. I never heard of Fells. This is, they 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 knew y'all. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, it's a little one. I love the beat so far. I'm really starting to like a... Get the 
can. Wake up in the morning. Different girls be on my life. Got something to call it. I love that beat drop. Talk genre of music is Afro-Caribbean. Okay. So, get down with it. so to have that little like Afro beat kind of vibe uh -huh. to it, I love it. Right. I love it. Okay. I love it. Um, I really like it. You know what I like about Usher? He makes music you could relate to. Interesting. He makes music where it feels like at one point after a breakup, you felt like that. Mm, yes, 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 yes. You felt like ain't nobody gonna be you. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna love me the yeah, same, yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you were the one that, oh yeah, ain't nobody ever gonna compare yeah, to whatever. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of his music, a lot of it is something, and that's what I appreciate. And that's what I appreciate about like, like R and B in general. Because in general, because it gives you something that is relatable mm -hmm. and at some point in your life excuse me it will make you think about that person like yeah like that song i have a couple people that in my mind not that oh they're about to be in my mind but not that if they ruined it for, for for me listen look at you <laughs> look at you the leo will come out up on you <laughs> you hear me because because you just that girl because I, I'm gonna tell you. So you heard the song and you was like, "Yeah, know, they gonna think never, about me you when they hit it." Never have the opportunity to outdo me. Okay. K C. <laughs> okay. This ain't, this ain't. You know. I mean, if I if I don't took my own horn, who will? Right. But I know in my relationships, one of the main things that I always try to do is. Um, show up a better person mm -hmm. than I was before. Mm. And so I do the healing, I do the work, and all the things. But I feel like this song, it is a, it, in his music in general, it gives you something to think about. Yeah. It gives you, it gives you the woman fuzzies where you can connect it with something. And I think yeah. that's what, like music that you really enjoy, it's because it connects you to something. That's the, whole, I feel like that's the whole point of music to yes. me. Yeah. To, to invoke some type of emotion yes. or to trigger a memory like that is the whole point yes. like I, I mean maybe not for everybody but for me like right. what am i listening to it for if i can't connect it you know like if it doesn't move me in some way whether right. it's to get ready to go out whether mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. you know to mm -hmm. get ready to have some time with my man yeah. or you know because i'm feeling down right. and i either want to a listen to sad music mm -hmm. to to, to comfort or, or to connect in that low space or I want to listen to happy music to help bring me out to of bring that you space. Out of it. Yeah. I, I feel like, not to say you can't just listen to music just to listen to it, mm. but but for the most part, it should have a purpose and yeah. some type of soul connection yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, but I, I, th I no, definitely it thought it was, it, was a, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. It was a vibe. It was a vibe. It's going to... I'm adding it now. Yeah. To my vibe folder. Oh, that's a good idea. Add it to your vibe playlist. Yes. Um, but yeah, so uh, shout out to Usher. Yeah, shout out Do to Usher. Keep, you know, Usher gonna stay up with the people. So, so, to your question, I would say his sound is still the same, mm -hmm. but I would say he's 
evolving with the times okay. and in a in a graceful way. Right. Like he's not, in my opinion, he's not just completely switching up his sound just to hook on to what's popular right, right now. Right. But he's naturally evolving he's with He's maturing with the people. Yeah. He is maturing with his base. With his audience. And I yeah. think that but he's also gathering the music from the newer generation yeah to kind of merge the to two. merge it but that's necessary yes. because to stay first of all to stay relevant and because look look at your audience like us you know we're not we're not super super old right, right? so we don't the music can't be completely outdated correct but also we're not so young to whereas every new thing is going to connect with us so right. at this point in his career with his fan base emerging is is almost necessary right especially you want to be on a tour right so actually that kind of makes me look forward to the tour yeah like i think he's these new songs coming he's, out he's he's really staying keeping himself relevant i really appreciate that so staying on music what what have you been listening to like like recently um so okay so listen there's this song that I thoroughly enjoy. Yeah, I haven't really gotten into. I like country, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I like the country music. Okay, I love the raspiness of a oh full voice, grown like Tennessee voice. whiskey kind like of a, like yeah. A, mm, yeah. Right. So we went on our way to um, my company's Christmas party. Mm -hmm. So this song came on. And it's like, you know how you start listening to something, but then you start hearing something. Mm -hmm. And so I'm we're listening, but then I really start to hear it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is a good song. Mm -hmm. And then, didn't think anything of it. I went to, I was on scrolling through social media and Kelly, Clark, Kelly Clarkson had, um, I think his name is Teddy Sims. Okay. On... And he sings a song called, I just made it up. sorry y'all, no, Teddy Swims. Okay. And he has a song <clears throat> called Lose Control. Okay. When I tell you, I'm going to play just a yeah, second. Yeah, play, play a little bit. country but i so i've been into um the sacred souls okay and i know you're like who is that okay everybody's like who is that but so the if you've been on tiktok the popular songs on tiktok can i call you rose uh-huh yes it's uh -huh. the sacred souls okay and um i i i love that song and so i was like let me look them up look them up um started listening to the album love the album it's all like old school like mm -hmm. it gives like a Marvin Gaye Smokey Robinson okay. vibe we talking about time yes you but I, I love it yeah. though I love it so much and it's like I, I love the fact that it's old school brought new mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it, when you listen to their music it sounds like this could have been a song that my grandparents liked right but it's from 2022 or 2023 yeah, yeah. um so that's what it kind of gives me. They actually just did a tiny desk. I recommend it. If, if y'all okay. have time, y'all not doing anything, watch their tiny desk. It's super cute. Um, I, I just like them. I like them. So that's yeah, what I've been listening to. I love that song. Yeah. Um, and then um, it's another song by a new artist. And actually, I found out his music because when I was watching 
um, the Summer Trail Awards. He did a, um, did he, I think he performed Friday. That's his, his name is Friday. Okay. Um, he had a really good song. And then what's the other one? October London. Yes. He has a he has a yeah. nice voice. I and love that. that remind you of my place. Yes. Yeah, I, I love, love that. Marvin Gaye. Turn up the lights. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so, um, like I said, Wait, yeah, I don't, that's not Marvin Gaye. Who though. is that? That's um I don't know. Let me see. Who's in Right. That ain't Marvin Gaye. It's what? that other guy. It's um is it Marvin Gaye? Teddy Pendergrass. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Teddy Pendergrass. But yes, it's it's that vibe. Yes. It's that vibe. Yeah. It's that vibe. So, in the music field, what music girlies? We talking about the guy? Okay, okay. What girls are you checking for right now? I like Cleo Soul. Okay. I like Alex Isley. Okay. Um, in the uh, Afro Caribbean, mm -hmm. I mean, T.Y. Savage has always been my girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She hasn't done anything new lately, mm -hmm. but I just like her in general. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, Beyonce. Well, she's not the new girl. Oh, she's not new. She's <laughs> not new. Okay. Well, T.Y.'s not new either, so, um... I would say those two for mm. new, for mm. new artists. I'm really into, I love a good beat. Mm -hmm. Tim's. Well, Tim, but Tim's ain't that new, though. She new to me. Oh, she new to you? She is really well, new Well, Afro-Caribbean, that's my thing. So yeah. I've been listening to Tim's since before. Like, so that, that the one song she did with WizKid, um, You Don't Need No Other Body. Mm -hmm. I had been listening to Tim's a year prior to that. Okay. And it's crazy because I loved that song. Uh huh. When it got on the radio and got overplayed, I was yeah, like, like oh, I can't even listen to it anymore. Yeah. But I was okay because I was like, I had been listening to it mm -hmm. for a while. So mm -hmm. y'all can go ahead and have it. But yeah, so Tim's, yes. I, yeah, I like her music. I like Tim's. Coco Jones, she's not new, new. But I like she Coco is, too. I like Coco. She, and I, you know what? I've started to realize. I like artists when I also like their personality. Because and I, I see also, you can't do that because then as soon as they do something that no, you don't no, no, agree no, no, no. with. It's not about like what I do and don't like. It's not about like their stances on things. She's just a really likable person. Yeah. The way that she comes off, even if she was like rude and mean, she doesn't, she just seems like she could be a homegirl of us. So rude. So many. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. She seemed like somebody, if she, we was at work together, we would be having a good time. I, I agree. I agree. It's like, I like that. I like that they are personable because, I mean, everybody has their bad days. Everybody, everybody has their downfall. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody, no one's perfect. But it seems like when you have these candid moments, and, and as many candid moments as you can have because when the mic is on, I mean, when the, the camera's on, when it can't be that candid. Yeah. But there's snippets of somebody's real personality that's gonna come through. Yeah, yeah. And um, so I, I, I really like Coco Jones. I like the new young lady. Uh, she's not new because she used to do uh, Bright for Folks and do background, but Money Long. Oh, 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 Money Long. I thought she was gonna say Victoria Monet. And Victoria Monet. Yeah. I like her too. And again, she also, and then she also she's has not a, that new, yeah. Right, a really good personality. And a lot of times, a lot of these girls, which you don't, we, we don't think about or realize is that Writing in the background, mm -hmm. singing, and the people that most of the time write the song, they've already sung it, so mm -hmm. that the artist can see how it needs to be sung or how it should the how the rhymes should go, and you just put your spin on it. So they have really good vocals, mm -hmm. really good mm -hmm. vocals. So I I I um I like that, and I think that we don't have enough of the old girlies that stay around. Yeah, you know we we have our our signature few, mm -hmm. but we don't have the Mayas and the um, Carrie Hilsons. Somebody said mm -hmm. I saw a video of Ashanti and Nelly performing in Miami recently. Well, that show, because she tried to hold her side her belly. But somebody was like Ashanti ain't got no new song, but still booked and busy, booked and fully busy. And I would say Maya too, like Maya. I don't know where these concerts be at, but she's she doing it. She stay busy. 
And that's the thing. It's like, you know, I would like to see the girlies out there more. Yeah. Right? No, 90s girlies, or early 2000s girls. Come on back. Just change up the, the, the instrumentals and, yeah. and bring it back. You ain't got to change up the instrumentals. Just bring it back. Just come on back. We, 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 look, we won't welcome, welcome you with open. Oh, true. Um, anyway, what have you been watching? Okay, so let me tell you about me. Mm -hmm. I am... Other than love and hip-hop. I don't... So that... I have, I have matured. Okay. I'm, I'm an adult. Okay. You know who be watching that down? Who? Goddamn Jayla. In, in my opinion, it's like, it's it's too much. Mm -hmm. Now it's old and it's played mm -hmm. and we know everything I talk about is a, is a lie. And it's True. a set up scene. True. And back then, I didn't think it was set up. I thought it was like, oh, we met somewhere and it was da 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 da. Yeah. Nah, now it's like, they, they have... They have shown us behind the curtain. Right. Once you know what's behind the curtain, how can you believe anything? Now, it's like they have to do the extreme, like these baddies mm -hmm. and the Krishan Rocks yeah. and the foolery that the blue face girls and they have. It's just too much. It's just unnecessary. So the one reality TV show that I I, I, I did get into, well, I've gotten into a couple of them, mm -hmm. but the one I, I recently got into was The Trust. So I do want to see that. I didn't think it was going to be any good, but I was sitting in the house. Um, it was interesting. So I do want to see that. I love Mia Phaedra Parks. Mm -hmm. I do. Is she as controversial? Wait, as but she's she not on the trust. She's on the other one. I'll try to know. The other one. So she's on. Oh, okay. So the trust is the one where you could choose to take the money or not. Yes, take the money but the one you're talking about, I haven't seen it. It's, okay. it's called. Um, the 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 liar the traitor is it the traitor? oh the traitor the traitor, traitor. the traitor. traitor yeah um yes it's it shows that I've been wanting to watch but let me tell you about me that's what, that I, I you know what I realized about myself mm -hmm. I go on these tangents mm -hmm. and I it, it be like we go I go on a tangent and then Latoya answers to that tangent <laughs> and tell, she she'll ride with ride with the girl. But I never really go back to or or really have like finished my statement because I have. I'm long-winded like my mom. So, <laughs> I'm going to give you a whole story. And it sounds like I said what you asked me the question of, and that ain't that one. So what you into, Rachel? So, what have you been watching? I enjoy a binge. Okay. I do not like episode to episode. Okay. So I went on to, I have um, Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. And... I wanted to watch something. So I was like, what has the longest season? Mm -hmm. right? I don't like, I didn't want to do Law and Order. It just gets a little too much sometimes. So I started watching NCIS New oh Orleans. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so I watched NCIS New Orleans. First, first, I started watching, they have a new one, NCIS Sydney. Oh, wow. So okay. they have a new one. And so I started watching that. And they only had like eight episodes. But when I say like the first episode, I was like, the acting is trash. Mm. And I don't like this, the, the, the black actress, I'm like, you're trying to a little too hard. It's not a fourth, right? And right. I have these thoughts. Mm. Do you think that stopped me from watching that damn show? You still watch the I whole thing. I was that show. <laughs> then when it went to this last episode, I was mad. It wasn't no more. Even though from even the beginning, though, and, you was like, I'm not. Even though my mom be like, I be hitting a little 10 second thing like, oh, she does talk. He go her monologue. But I'm mad when the damn show over. Wow. So anyway, so I'm watching NCIS New Orleans and it's, I mean, I don't know. I just like, I don't know if I'm into, as I used to be into TV like that. Yeah. Um, I do want to, I do want to, it's a few movies that I do want to see mm -hmm. that I didn't get a chance to see. Um, Mission Impossible, The Burnout, or Record Reckoning. So I didn't even know that they, that came, that yeah, because it, it came straight to TV. It wasn't in the movies. I, or was it in the I theaters? Don't know. Okay. I don't see that, but there is a movie that I would like to see, and it is in theaters, and I would like to go on like a maybe a date, date night or something like that. Um, <laughs> the beekeeper, I mean the beehive. I mean no, the beekeeper. It is the bee. Why don't you say? Who in it? Why don't you say the beehive? Who in it? It's the beekeeper with. <laughs> you know I'm gonna say the same thing. <laughs> It's Statham, right? <laughs> it's something Statham. What's his name? Jason. Jason Statham. Not Anthony. Jason Statham. <laughs> Shout out to Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Um, I like him as an actor. I've mm -hmm. seen him in 
the transporter. I've seen him in Italian job. Like I've seen him before. Like, he was every like, movie is the same. It is the same. It it, it is the same. You don't mind that. I don't. I don't mind repetition because I'm someone that really just enjoys what I enjoy. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I'm. I don't. So need, it's like I, you like it. So it doesn't matter if they keep doing it over and over yeah. again because you want to see him hop out a car. Shoot slide a couple over people, here. beat somebody up, slide under a table, and do stuff that and all in a suit and you flat bottom. Been dead. <laughs> you would have been dead. Okay. As many times on John Wick, they watch your NCIS and they get shot one time and they in the morgue. Yeah. I got shot, stabbed, ran over, jumped out the car, got hit by the car, and then you just shake it off. That's what really kind cool. of bullshit is that? So. But guess who won't be in the movies watching it? <laughs> Sign me up, Chuck. <laughs> I'm there. I'm in. I'm intrigued. How many crazy things can you do? But you know which ones I don't like that what? I like that. The Fast and the Furious. So I I can't even play you because I'm the same way when it comes to like the fantasy stuff. Mm-hmm. So like, it, if it has a werewolf, a vampire, or or if it's from like, uh. Regency era or, mm-hmm. or midi like Game of Thrones, all of that, like it literally be the same story, but I'm into it. Listen, and it's, all the characters, yeah, and and, and trying to figure out real life, yes, how, and then you know it's crazy. You know how you really into a show, and then you start to take on that character mm-hmm. because your body is like, that's what I'm supposed to be. Yep, that's a what am I supposed to live like? <laughs> But you know what? I as much as I I will watch action, and I will watch things. I do not like suspense. Really? I, I. It's too much anxiety. It's too much anxiety. Yeah, I, I, I don't get have it. any control. I get it. So I was watching <laughs> one day, one weekend. I was like, I'm going to binge watch Harry Potter. Oh yay! I love. Cause I, just, I read the books. And yeah. Stuff. When I was before, I used to watch it. I tried to watch it that night. Mm-hmm. First of all, the uh, those are the movies that I would need. I need to be close. First of all, I, yeah, I see I wear glasses, so half the time I can't see no way. But it's so dark, I feel like I need to be in the screen. Mm-hmm. But I'm scared something's going to jump out and get me. Mm-hmm. So I got to fast forward through the parts. But as soon as the music starts sounding a little old, or the music go away, mm-hmm. I fast forward it really? to find out what happened and then go back so that I'm not surprised. Harry Potter's not even scary. So how are you scared something's going to get you? I'm scared of it. I, I am nervous. My cousin was like, oh, because I like that's this movie. I think you would like this is suspense. Mm-mm. Um, yeah, so I, I ain't I ain't with the I'm not with the suspense, so I can I can do without. So no haunted houses for you. No haunted houses. I don't like and I have a very vivid imagination. <laughs> so I will dream about it. Yeah. Especially if I eat something late. Oh, it's it, it's up in, I'm running in my dreams. <laughs> My legs is twitching. You know how you, when you wake up because you done fell down the steps? <laughs> That'll be me. And I'm up for the rest of the night because I cannot sleep. And then I wake up and I'm looking around to see if I see a ghost. I'm scary, y'all. So, yeah, I will. My, if people hate it. I'll, if I'm ever watching a movie with you and it gets to a part where it's getting a little scary or a little something's happening and you see me get up or act like I go to the bathroom, I can't or oh, I'll look. It's because I'm scared. Wow. I, and and they, they talk bad about me. Bad. Oh, you know, mommy want to see a scary movie? No. Did you watch Money Heist on Netflix? I did not. Oh, it was good. Um, it, Money Heist it was the English version, but then they did a, I guess, Spanish version. Mm-hmm. I think it was called Casa de Papel. Okay. Um, but now they can't, and it was, I believe, four seasons. Mm-hmm. It was really good. I mean, mm-hmm. it was some suspense, but it's really good. Okay. Um, and they just came out with the prequel called Berlin. Okay. So, I, that's on my list also to watch. I haven't watched it yet, but it's on my list. Mm-hmm. But, look, so, I told you last weekend I went out with my cousin mm-hmm. for her birthday or whatever. Mm-hmm. We had a good time. Mm-hmm. Nice little mm-hmm. lounge or whatever. And um, one of her friends, I'm sitting next to one of her friends at the mm-hmm. dinner table. Um, and the lounge that we went to, kind of like most lounges, they have a restaurant area and then okay. they have like a bar area. Okay. So we're in the restaurant area, but after we finish eating, we already have a plan to transition to the bar area. Mm-hmm. And I'm at a point now 
where I could literally go to the liquor store, get a bottle of wine, okay, and do that in my house and not spend right five hundred dollars. Right. So her and I were laughing about that, and she was telling me how she's getting rid of all of her stilettos. Mm -hmm. Like she's just at a point where she's too old. It's either gonna be a block hill, a flat. Or maybe a kitten heel, but but she's done with stilettos. So we were having that conversation. It made me think of like the what what are we too old for? So I want to go into this um, TikTok video. I guess I'm gonna have to drop it in. I could drop in a video from TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll, I'll I'll drop in the video from TikTok. Here are five things I'm too old for. Part two. Hi, my name is Talia. We love a list over here, so make sure you're following her daily list. So on January 29th, 2023, I posted a video, a list titled Five Things I'm Too Old For. And baby, I did not know. As of today, that is my most viewed video. And essentially, I low-key started a trend. Here are five more things I'm too old for. Number one, I'm too old to be sloppy drunk, to be drunk boots, to be drunk off my ass, to be sloppy drunk. I love a little buzz, okay? A couple of cocktails, maybe a shower or two. Just enough to text Bae to be like, pick me up. Just enough to throw a little more ass but to be vomiting, belligerent, and needing an act of Congress to get me home, and then to wake up well into the afternoon, feeling like I was just on a roller coaster. No, 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 no. Number two, I'm too old for all that noise. <laughs> when you get older, unnecessary noises, excessive noises, it's just, it's just a little irritating. Number three, I'm too old for all that frosting. So like cake and like cupcake culture is like kind of ridiculous right now. There's more frosting than cake nowadays. So those heart cakes that everybody wants for their birthdays, that excess piping around the perimeter, I'm scraping that off. Those little bunt cakes from Nothing Bunt Cakes, that dollop in the middle, too much. The frosting on the sides are fine, but that dollop in the middle, too much. Number four is waiting on people. Waiting on people to do things, to go places. It's okay to do things alone sometimes. If there's a restaurant you want to try, go. If there's somewhere you want to travel to, go. I've been to Spain, Morocco by myself, and I'm going to be in South Africa alone for a few days next month. It's totally okay. Do the thing. Don't wait on the group chat. And number five, I'm too old and honestly, maybe a little privileged, I'll acknowledge that, to be nickel and diming my friends. I get the Uber going, you get the Uber coming back, maybe it was like a three, four, five dollar difference. Over the course of our friendship, we will be even. Like, girl, can you pick up a couple of bobby pins from the store on your way to the pregame? Baby, it's a gift. And I am lucky and I am blessed to have a friend group where we're all, you know, in similar places in our life. You know, we make good livings, we like nice things, and we really care and take care of each other. A couple of dollars ain't nothing. Let so yeah. I, I just I, I first I feel her on that. Okay. All all of those things. All the things. And also, what else are you just too old for? So I'm I'm too old for a lot. Yeah. I'm at a place where um I am I am definitely too old for the hills. Mm. I miss the day when we used to go to the club and it, it I mean this was a long, long, long time ago. But you can go with sneakers. Yeah. You could be cute with some but sneakers. But I, so I feel like th those were go-go's, though, if yeah. you think back to it. Like, yeah. We, we and then, and then maybe you was at the club, but like I feel like you could go to a go-go in sneakers. Mm -hmm. And you could still do that now. Mm -hmm. But like clubbing, clubbing, they had oh, dress yeah, codes. They had dress codes. Yeah, 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 I'm, 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 I'm kind of over like the, the... I haven't gone out in a minute. I'm a, I'm a daytime brunch girl. Day parties are it. Like, that's the I, thing. I, I want to be in the house by five. First of all, I want to get drunk at 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. So that way I'm sober by five. Yeah. And I can finish the rest of my day. I can cook dinner. I can get ready for work tomorrow. I don't have a hangover. Uh, that's, that's, that is the dream. Yeah. That is the dream of the ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> that's Martin's dream for all of us. Um... Yeah, I don't, I, I, but I'm in a space now because I have a friend of mine who's um, single and she's been venturing out to like happy hour. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind a happy hour. I don't mind a happy hour. Getting in about five, meaning to whom, wherever I'm going and then out of the, maybe like 4.30, five, yeah, five o'clock when you're off work. And then um, getting back home by, you know, later than nine. Yeah. I still like my regular day. Yeah. 
Um, and it, it has to just be a leftover night mm -hmm. where there's already, you know, kind of food in the house. And but... even when I'm doing happy hour, I may have one, maybe two drinks because mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get, get drunk. Sauce. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm too old for parking and then walking. I'll just valet. Mm -hmm. But I had a bad mm -hmm. valet experience. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> It is, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> um, but I had a bad experience with mm -hmm. valet, so I'm not saying that I would never do it again, but if if I could park somewhere in Uber, it's just the whole thing of like walking. Right. I don't wanna have to park my vehicle and then I wanna walk be in the front. To the Yes. Yeah. I, I want front door front. service. I, um I and I feel like I deserve that. I'm at an age now where I deserve front door service. Yes, yeah, drop me off at the front. I get it. <laughs> I, it's like so many things that we weren't doing before and it's all the pressures of having to and you ain't you ain't invested now now, now you too old to not be invested that's true you too old to not be saving it's like I, but I, but I but I agree with that I do think I'm too old to not be saving I I agree but it's still a lot of pressure it is it is to try to do I mean adulting right to like do it's the, a all lot. the adult things it's a lot in a space of Still feeling like I, my mind is not a, not a child, but I still feel youthful. Yeah, yeah. I feel like those are a lot of responsibilities. I guess I, I guess I have to get to the point in my life which I maybe I have not reached. Mm -hmm. Your asses are getting no, and it's time well, no, for you to it's, start it's not, it's doing not. things to get ready for. I think you're looking at old in a negative way. I, no, I'm not. I'm saying I can't be out here and be frivolous. No, you can't. That, but that's I'm not saying old in an old person. Yeah. I'm saying you need to start thinking about mm -hmm. saving, making allowances for your children because your children are growing up. So and that's young just as I'm trying to be. That's just growth though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like that's yeah. not like you getting old, you need to be doing this. That's just growth. Yeah. Like, life life is taking you now down a path of you have to start preparing for things. That mindset is just growth. Yes. Like you could think that at any stage. Yeah. And you and now you're just coming to the reality of this is where I'm at. I, I can't just be doing whatever. I gotta do oh this. Some people, but you know what there's a lot of people that don't have that. Yeah. They don't they don't yeah. come to that realization. Yeah. They, they still live in frivolous and you looking at them yeah. like this is what not working for you. What are we doing? It's you're you're not benefiting from this anymore. Right. So, yeah, to each his own. But I tell you, this all adulting life. I'm gonna tell you, children. Anybody that's watching us in their twenties, don't don't rush to the thirties. Mm. Enjoy the ability to be loose. I say I say this to my younger cousins all I the enjoy time. It. They are so pressed to grow up. And I'm like, if you don't enjoy... Ain't nothing going on but being able to go to the VFW at 35. You hear me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Once you turn 21, you can do everything anyway. Listen, ain't nothing else going on. Even even, even younger than that, even like the 18s, the 19s, and the 20s, enjoy having a little bit of independence at that age, but still being able to depend on... You know your your parents right. or your you, guardians. You have that type of you know yeah. you have that type of type of situation, and then and enjoy it to the point of travel. If you can, even if you don't use it immediately, get you a passport. Yeah, get those things that you can now do at eighteen. If you were sixteen and your parents didn't want you to do it or, or couldn't get you to, even if it's putting a little bit of money aside, go and get you a passport. Yeah. Number one, you don't know what can happen in this world where you need to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But get that that should be one. So of so if any's by if anybody is watching this and you were thinking about getting a passport, this is your sign. Right. Go get your passport. We the Lord to, from there to there to there. Get your passport. Yeah. Um conquer some of those fears that you may have at home on the fly. Figure out a way to get yourself out there because as I've told my daughter time and time again. Being, continuing to stay in your small area limits the, limits your thinking. Mm -hmm. This world is so big. You have all the cultures, all the different type of foods, all of the different type of experiences, other people's experiences, things that you can learn. Keeping yourself so restricted because 
it, it you're not used to something or you're scared of something. Fear. One thing that Will Smith said, child, I don't really be telling too much about me because you know these people in this social media, these people on LA and Hollywood, they got a lot going on. <clears throat> But he was saying when he turned 50, when he jumped out of that helicopter, he mm -hmm. was like, what, what the, I think something to the, basically to the gist of when he jumped out, the only thing that was stopping him but to see what was on the other side was fear. And when he got on the other side, he, was, he felt so free mm -hmm. from the bondage of fear. And once you step out of that fearful mindset, you have now unlocked the world that is a full of abundance yeah and 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 we and i say this all the time god we only can see as much as we know mm -hmm. god sees the full the full landscape and a lot of times and i don't want to go to church on y'all but the devil can hold you back from getting to your purpose and a part of the devil working is fear yeah and working in fear stops you from making the best decisions for you so i Am at a space where we all, we all are too old or ha what is it? We too old? Mm -hmm. We all too old to be living in fear. Amen. We too old for that. From two to nine to five, you yeah. too old to be living yeah. in fear. Get, get, get into it. Like, Clearly. like Tabitha Brown said, do a new thing. Do a new thing. I did a new thing today. Yep. Do you a know? new thing. So I think this wraps our yeah, episode for today. Yeah. Make sure you like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, do all of the things. Help us grow our community. I don't know how many times we're going to tell y'all to do do the things that we explain. Yeah. You in the group chat. We've asked you to come into the group chat. You have been at, entered into this. Put the notifications on. Get Get up in here. Until next time. Until next time. We will see you next week. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that.